Who is going to blink first? Between President Uhuru Nugai Kenyatta and his deputy William Samuel Ruto. Because let's face it, these two gentlemen are fighting over the control of Jubilee Party. Uhuru Kenyatta is currently the party leader of Jubilee Party. And his deputy is William Samuel Ruto. But these two gentlemen are fighting over the control of this party. Forget about Caleb Kositani or Moses Korea. Those are the faces of the Liberal President William Ruto. Forget about Rafael Tuju or David Murade. Those are the faces of President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And something very interesting happened yesterday. And we all know that of late there has been high voltage campaigns, uh, high voltage politics in Jubilee Party. Because Rafael Tuju had initiated the process of kicking out the allies of the Liberal President William Samuel Ruto from a key organ of Jubilee Party referred to as the National Management Committee. And the Deputy President himself dismissed those moves and initiated the process of reversing that move. Yesterday, Caleb Kositani has been the face of William Samuel Ruto because Rafael Tujo is the Secretary General, is the face of President Ruto Kenyatta. Caleb Kositani is the Deputy Secretary General, has been the face of William Samuel Ruto made an interesting post on, on his Facebook account. The so-called deep state through Tuju, deep state through Tuju, have put a paid advert in tomorrow's paper nominating the five to replace three, thus ignoring the Jubilee Party Constitution that requires the National Management Committee nominee to be NEC members first. Why is the deep state, he's also emphasizing that, why is the deep state scared of calling a neck or PG meeting? Deep state, he's repeating it again, is actually scared and is hell-bent on breaking the law. Quote, here we come. So when Caleb Kositani made references to deep state here, and not to you, he was actually referring to President Uhuru Mgekinyata. And then, after some time, Moses Kuria also made another post. And Moses Kuria also made a very interesting post. <clears throat> this is what Moses Kuria posted. Despite the ruling by the Register of Political Parties, ODM special envoy in Jubilee, Rafael Tuyu, has, has placed a notice in Saturday papers with irregular changes in Jubilee National Management Committee. So Moses Kuria is now referring to Rafael Tuyu as ODM special envoy because of, not because of anything, but because Rafael Tuyu is a lure, which is okay, and is continuing. We are at the onset on a budget of a budget and finance bill process in parliament and we need peace and space without political sideshows. Anyway, war has been declared. It will end in tears. So if you listened to Moses Korea, he's also alluding to a war which has been declared. These two gentlemen are allies of the deputy president. And if you want to read the mind of the deputy president, it's easy. Just go and follow Dennis Itumbi. He normally makes certain updates on his Twitter or Facebook. And this is what Dennis Itumbi also posted. Dennis Itumbi, on this particular matter, made an interesting post yesterday. He's saying, step one, 
Jubilee decides to change party officials illegally, notifies the registrar. So that's the first step. Step two is saying, within 14 days, publish notice. You see, all those processes have happened. They first decided to change the name, then they published in the Gazette notice. Then, number th step three, you will notify the public through two days. So that's what happened yesterday, today. A notice has been published in the dailies. And then step four is saying, after 14 days, 14 days after March 2nd, Jubilee may change as per party constitution. So Dennis Itumbi is also reading something here, that these guys are keen on changing something in Jubilee. But he's also alluding to the possibility of changing the name of the Jubilee party. And he's actually he has actually annexed here the constitution of Jubilee party. So which is notification of changes, alterations in the constitution, ETC of political parties. This is political parties act. And it's very clear on how these things are supposed to be done. But in my view, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing on this particular war is the mere fact the deputy president seemingly is fighting a battle which is likely to lose. Because the yesterday's move by Rafael told you is a bolt move or was a bolt move. And the DP already suffered a major political blow in his journey to status. But the biggest question is what was the political objective of that move by Rafael Tuju? Why was Rafael Tuju doing that? In my view, Rafael Tuju was on a mission and he was just a messenger. Because we all remember that Rafael Tuju has maintained and repeated it severally that he's acting under the instruction of the party leader. So what is the game plan? In my view, the game plan are three or four. Number one, <clears throat> the first message which is being sent out is that Uhuru Kenyatta, as the party leader of Jubilee Party, is not keen on losing control of Jubilee Party. Uhuru is not going to lose control of Jubilee Party. Uhuru is not going to hand over Jubilee as a political party to William Samaruto. This is something which the deputy president and his allies must get right into their heads. Uhuru is not going to lose control. Whether Uhuru is going to support the deputy president for the presidency, he will still be the man in charge of Jubilee Party. Whether Uhuru is going to support Rail Udinga, still is going to be the man in charge of Jubilee Party. And whether Uhuru is going to support someone else, let's say even uh, Mutai Kagwe, even Railu Ding, I mean, even Mutai Kagwe, even uh, Gideon Moy, or even uh, Fred Okengo Matian, he's not going to lose control of Jubilee Party. So if I were to advise the DP, I'd, do, I'd give him a very simple advice. Please retrace your roots and the mistakes. Then talk to President Uru Kenyatta. Find a way of reconciling with President Uru Kenyatta. And then figure out how you can work with him under Jubilee Party with the full knowledge that is the guy who is going to call the shots. And the alternative is for the DP to just form his own political party. So that's number one. The second message which I'm reading out of this move is that Rafael told you is working under instructions. And it's also working under a script. So the game plan ultimately is for Uru to control Jubilee Party. But Rafael Tuju is just a messenger. And I've never understood why the allies of the DP have refused to accept that Rafael Tuju is just a messenger in this. And is delivering a script. The script began. First of all, David Murade resigned. <clears throat> and this is the only political party where I've seen someone resigning and coming back like Ukenda Kwechou Natoka, Alafu Narudi. 
So David Murade resigned publicly early as the as the vice chair of Jubilee Party. He went. Then when Rafael Tuju wrote the letter asking the registered political party to give him the names of officials of Jubilee Party, they they all they suddenly realized that David Murade is still a party official. So David Murade was invited again to the party. Then once that was done, then these guys started replacing key organ of the party. The National Management Committee is the of Jubilee Party is the one which runs the day-to-day -day activities of Jubilee Party. So they looked at that list, they realized, okay, here we had allies of the DP and we had these other guys. So the best thing, let us give them jobs. So Napea, we are Napua Kazi, Kwasirikali, oh what working on my fry. Mingine, Mingine. Then we replace them. <laughs> yeah, so the script. Now once they've been given jobs, so it means they exit easily because when you, when you are an official of the party there's no benefit there's no monetary benefit so when you are given a, a, a appointment as a chief cabinet secretary <laughs> chief assistant secretary in full then they are very happy because that's a very big office so they live in peace then the 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 the, the, the positions are filled after they are filled now you notify there the registrar. Now what kelele nini nini, but at the end of the day, 14 days lapse, the registrar refers them back to you to solve it. The party leader tells you, read the constitution. What does the Jubilee Party constitution says about the party leader? He has overriding power over any other person. So we were Toma Yobarua kwa registrar to effect those changes. Then publish them. So Rafael told you yesterday publish the names. Of this political party. So it tells you that Rafael Tuju is actually working under a script. When Rafael Tuju was sick, was involved in an accident, these guys tried to replace him. It was thwarted, and Rafael Tuju immediately announced that Ye is back and is changing his duty. So that's number two. Number three is that Uhuru Kenyatta and his handlers are actually trying to force the DP to react. Remember, the DP has been avoiding any confrontation with President Ruth Kenyatta for a very long time. But the question is for how long? So these guys have been are actually provoking him. And the idea is simple. The first time, the last time he was provoked, he dismissed these changes. And he termed to you and the rest as conmen and fraudsters. I want to ask some okay, I may react okay, so we may relax to we may This lapsed the, the 14 days which were given, then kaboom, they, they published. So they want the DP to react, and I've been waiting for the DP to react. Actually, I delayed doing this video for the DP to react, but up to by the time of making this video, he has not reacted. So probably the DP is also aware of the game. But the allies of the DP have reacted. So what have they done? They have promised to take this matter to courts. What does that mean? It means the other side will prepare a defense. And Uru Kenyatta as the party leader will be quoted. His role and how he authorized this. So basically what these guys are trying to do, they want to drag, they want to, to provoke DP to drag Uhuru Kenyatta to, to courts. So that's something. Number four, <laughs> it's about party ownership. Who are the real owners of Jubilee Party? This is something these guys are trying to find out. They want to know whether it is Uhuru Kenyatta who is the real owner of the Jubilee Party or is the deputy president who is the real owner of the Jubilee Party. Because the fact of the matter is all political parties in this country have their owners. ODM belongs to Raila. If today he decides to disband it, it will be disbanded. WIPA belongs to Kalonzo. ANC belongs 
to Musalia Mdavan and any other political party. So Ruto committed a mistake by dissolving URP. He wouldn't be having this kind of problem. He might have the rest of the police supporters behind him. But the mere fact that he doesn't have a political party. So basically what these guys want to do, they want to prove ownership. And then towards the tail end, because they are going to drag the DP into this mud. So by the, the towards the tail end of this, if the court will drag, like let's say, the next 12 months, uh, just like Murade said, Tonaiza Mwachia party. <laughs> so they can decide and leave it, the party to him. So if they leave the party to him in the next one or two years from now, so Rafael Tunji will resign, Murade will resign, several other, the chairman will resign, all those other officials will resign. So what will happen? Jubilee will be a political party without party officials. And now the DP will have to embark on strengthening that new political party. And by that time, campaigns will be up. So will he be focused on creating a new, a new network for, for Jubilee party or will he be focused on the campaigns? So those are all strategies. And lastly, I think the president is sending a message, a silent message to the DP, which the DP must listen to. Respect. That's a message he's sending out very clearly and loudly to the DP. And in my view, if the DP is serious, he must start listening to what Uru is not saying or what Uru is not telling him. There is no way you can term someone like Secretary General of a political party, a person I appointed as a conman and as a fraudster. What are you telling me? There's no way you, had, you, you can have your person. I asked the, the, party, the Secretary General of, of my political party to write a letter to Kirinyaga MCS. Then you, you ask your man to contradict that. Is that how to manage a political party? That's the message the DP, the president is sending to the DP. I don't know what to think, but in my view, those are very strong five messages which are being sent to the deputy president, William Samiruto. And if he's serious about running for the presidency in 2022, he must rethink, form a political party now. If that can't work for him, then he must look for a way of reconciling with President Rupinata. And if you're bumping on this video for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and hit the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, you get notified. And on this channel, I always ask people for just one single favor. Help me create interactions. How do you do that? Give the video a thumbs up or you give the video a thumbs down. So if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Because from there, I'll know, oh, this video is mzuri, what is it? Penta. what is it? What is it? What is but so it means I can create more engaging videos for you people. But the other alternative, the best one, is just to drop your comments. So what do you think? What message do you think the president is sending by ignoring all the moves by the DP to stop the changes in Jubilee and affecting them? And lastly, we are creating our, 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 our I'm creating, uh, we are creating a website, a blog, where we'll be, we will be churning out news as they arrive. So it's, we are still experimenting a lot of things. It was supposed to be up fully by yesterday, but it didn't because there was something we were trying also to do. Hopefully by Monday, everything will be, will be fine. But I want you to take your time and check it out, www.vuguvugu.com. Just check it out. Then you can give me your feedback, your honest feedback on what you think. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day.